story that shocked a community and parents everywhere. Three children found padlocked inside a Lake Stevens home surrounded by human waste and garbage. From that house of horrors to a house filled with love, one family is trying to keep those kids together now. And Janet Kim has the story you'll see only on Q13 Fox News tonight. Janet? Well, David, when these children, ages 7, 3, and 11 months, were removed from the home, they were separated from each other. The 7-year-old girl is now living with her biological father, who didn't know about her until this incident. But he's now working to make sure she has the best life he can give her by keeping at least two of these siblings together. Kevin and Maria Lewis heard about three Lake Stevens children living in filth through the news, like anyone else. When the story came out, I was all over it, reading it all the time and all the updates and everything and telling him about this crazy story in Lake Stevens about these kids and I had no idea. No idea that one of those children would be connected to them. Soon after the children's mother, Amanda Foley, and her boyfriend, Mark Dorson, were arrested, the state summoned Kevin for a paternity test for the seven-year-old girl. Once I found out, I was excited and happy that I, have a, I had a daughter out there, but I was also angry because we lived in the same town for seven years. I heard nothing for seven years. Kevin is also angry. This is the condition police say his daughter and her two brothers were living in, with human waste and feces, a situation much different from the one little Cheyenne lives in today. I want, <laughs> I want to, I want to green. Where she has four new siblings. From day one, has fit in. Like, she's just kind of always been here. So she's, you know, teases her little sisters mm -hmm. and hangs on her big brother's arm and <laughs> all the fun kid stuff in between. But the Lewis family says something, rather someone, is missing. It's very important to her, too, to have her little brother around. Um, she misses them and she tells stories about them. The Lewises are trying to adopt Cheyenne's three-year-old brother, too. However, with five children already in the house, their three-bedroom apartment won't allow any more. In order for him to join our family, it really it just boils down to space and having a home big enough for all the kids. It's where neighbor Callie Alexander comes in. She is now raising money for the Lewis family through a GoFundMe site. And I'm trying to help raise money so that the Lewis family can uh, raise some money and have money to do a deposit and move to a bigger, a bigger home. An act of kindness she hopes others will take part for a family with a heavy pass but she believes a bright future. Man, have the money to help settle two new kids into their family. They've been through so much. Cheyenne has been through so much, and her brother has been through so much. And, you know, through everything they've been through, they've been together, and now they're apart. And Cheyenne is so happy with her new family, and, but something's still missing, and she doesn't have her brother. Now, the family tells me they would have also adopted the third child, but for reasons they couldn't share due to privacy, the state has placed him with another family. As for Cheyenne's mother and mother's boyfriend, they are still in jail on charges of criminal mistreatment and abandonment. A court date for trial has not yet been set, but if you would like to help the Lewis family, we'll have a link to their GoFundMe site on our website, Q13Fox.com. We're live in the newsroom, Janet Kemp, Q13 Fox News.